And with the news, here's Fossil. Hello and welcome to the April 1st edition of Views, Booze, and Cruise News. Yeah, well, I say that three times fast. If you're curious what I'm drinking today, stick around to the end and we'll talk about it. So let's get into the news. The 2024 edition of April's Fool's Day was not lost on cruise lines. They had some really good offerings going on. Royal Caribbean Australia showed off a water slide that cascades off into the ocean and, uh, and gave an idea of that you could get ready to experience all the thrills while sliding down a 620 meter slide before relaxing in the ocean with your favorite floaty. Ha! <laughs> good, good job there, mates. Uh, Carnival launched a waterproof bag to allow you to eat uh, pizza around the pool. Cruise fought, uh, Proxis debuted its cat theme, <laughs> cat theme new build design. And then uh, MSC Cruises uh, posted an anti-gravity cabin concept. Uh, so, so yeah, April Fools was not lost on these guys. They had some fun with it and that's a good thing. But now on to more serious news. Uh, Windstar Cruises is offering a complimentary upgrade uh, to its all-inclusive fare for 2024 as long as you book before June 30th. Uh, that can come out to $89 per passenger per day. Uh, which is $1,200 per cabin uh, for two on a seven day cruise. Uh, the free upgrade includes Wi-Fi, all gratuities, and unlimited wine, beer, and cocktail. Wow, that is that is quite the deal. Check that out if you have any desire to hit any of the Windstar 2024 cruises and don't tally too long because uh, that time limit's gonna be coming up. Uh, with the port of Baltimore still closed and who knows when it's gonna reopen, uh, Royal Caribbean Vision of the Seas has temporarily at least, transferred its home port to Norfolk, Virginia. According to the company, the port in Virginia was chosen as the home port for the vessel's upcoming cruises, which were uh, originally set to depart from Baltimore. Uh, after exploring all options, they say Norfolk, Virginia was the best temporary alternative home port for the vision of the seas. Uh, space in the terminal is a little less though. So if you are booked on that ship, don't show up before your listed uh, embarkation time. Uh, it's not going to be able to handle the load. The company also tried to make things a little more right uh, in that if you currently have pre-scheduled transportation for your arrival, like flight, car rental, yada, yada, uh, and include a change fee, they were going to cover up to $200 uh, U.S. For, uh, per person for domestic changes and up to $400 per person for international changes. And you know, while, while they're at no fault for what happened in Baltimore, uh, it's good to see that they're taking steps to reduce the pain for the travelers. And then finally, Virgin Voyages Valiant Lady uh, has completed its inaugural season of sailing out of San Juan, Puerto Rico. The Valiant Lady began sailing from San Juan in January of 2024. Valiant Lady embarked on its final eight night sail in, uh, from San Juan in March. After completing the season in San Juan, the ship will return to Miami to operate round trip cruises ranging from four to seven days. Uh, in December, Puerto Rico will host another Virgin Voyages ship and this time it's gonna be the Resilient Lady sailing from the port starting in December. So that's the cruise news for today. And if you're curious what I'm drinking here today, it is the Ballatin Chocolate Toffee Chocolate Whiskey. Very good stuff, very sweet on the palate uh, and has just kind of a nice kick to it. So anyway, till next time, uh, happy cruising and we'll see you later.